Hello, baby. Hello. You alright? Yeah, you're sneaky. Sneaky what? You stuck like to make the tea and I ended up doing it. Oh dear, what a shame. Well, this is our second day in uh, York. We're in the Premier Inn. Lovely purple light on here. Probably a bit dark for you, but uh, I slipped over yesterday, nearly tripped, and uh, I've done my ankle in. My back's a little bit sore, but uh, the time now is 12 minutes past seven in the morning. These beds are absolutely fantastic, and uh, we're going down for breakfast soon, and uh, we'll take you on our little journey. Just leaving Everett, going down for breakfast. What way, baby? Look, it was this way, I can't remember. Off you go. So the time now is 8.39, and uh, we're on the third floor, shall we? Yeah. So down we go, baby. We're going to take the lift, because my back's still, it's cool, what's that smell? Mm. It smells like sewers, isn't it? I've got gassy smell. No, it's not gas, baby. Here we are. Here, she has Look, tuck in. That's what we're going to do. We're in the lift at the moment, folks. On our way down. People, if you want a fresh egg at a premier, go for poached. Poached egg, that's what you're doing. You told Look, me to do it. I always go for poached egg. I'm going to have poached egg scramble, chat. The ingredient, yeah. That's what person I am. And I've just come out, haven't I? Yeah, that's what I mean. Right, here we are at the actual buffet. We did book a table for 9.30, but uh, we ended up going down an hour earlier. So this was 8.30, and as you can see, the uh, items were well stocked. Plates are also warmed as well, just to note, folks. Sharon doesn't tend to overfill her plate. If she wants more, she'll go back a, a second time. But uh, me, I like to load it up first of all. So three of these lovely pork sausages there, well coloured as well. And also three rashers of bacon. I always tend to go for two hash browns. A lot of people say they don't belong on a, uh, a fry up, but uh, I think they go very well. And also, nice to see that everything is steaming as well, as you can probably see there. Do hate it when you go to a, an open plan setup like this and there's not uh, not enough when it's cool, it's not very hot. Scrambled eggs, I tend to go for both here. So I've gone for the actual scrambled egg, again, which looks very good. Now Sharon normally said she goes for a poached egg, but these had literally just come out. So she opted to go for the fried eggs instead. And yet again, I've had two. Right, a little bit dark here, folks, but uh, Sharon went a little bit simple because you can go back, Sharon, can't you? Yeah, but I'm going for fruit and that next You're tonight. You're going for the fruit. So she's gone for the HP sauce, brown always on that. Uh, she was going to go for the poached eggs, but... Uh, they just come straight out. Yeah, they were fresh. They literally just come straight out. So you in you go, nice Sharon. and runny. Hot. Is everything hot? That's the main thing. Hash brown's not that hot. But the quality was there. That's not a sausage is hot. That's a nice sausage. That's not a standard catering sausage, that is it. So let's have a little look at mine, folks. So I've gone for three sausages, two hash browns. We've got the mushrooms on there. We've got the scrambled egg. I've gone for that as well. Beans. I didn't get a tomato because I like tin tomatoes and I didn't see them there, Sharon. No, they're here for grilled. Two eggs. A bit of brown sauce, folks. I normally have a couple of these. And I think I'm going to today. I haven't got my drink yet. I'm going to think I'm going to have a cup of tea with this. Although we did have a cup of tea when we come out of our room, but uh, that'll do, mate. A little bit of pepper. Superb. And I must say, it looks like it's up to the normal Premier Inn standard, Sharon, doesn't it? Very good. Right, let's have a little cut into that sausage. Yeah, it's a good quality sausage, folks. The beans on there. Mm. It's 
scrambled egg. A lot of people can get this wrong. Yeah. We can eat this and we come back to you. Don't forget, this isn't all you can eat. That's all. Off again. Up she goes. Right, so we're gonna eat this, folks, and then we'll come back to you. Right, we just come out of our hotel room, folks, and uh, we're gonna have a look at the wall. Uh, might, might do a little walk around that. Yeah, a bit of a walk. Yeah. yeah. Now you can get to the wall by the top of the uh, castle turrets here, and uh, apparently it's about 3.4 kilometers walking around it, around the whole city. Well, we're not gonna do that, but we'll do a bit of it because I think you get a bit of a view above the uh, city looking down so we'll have a little look at that and uh, see what that's all about again it's one of these free attractions yeah some sort of medieval entrance to the city maybe well, it's a town walls isn't it look nickel gate bar yeah this is going into the inner side of the uh the town now or the city rather just making our way what's that sign say there Chef? siege of york 1664 on the 16th of july 1664 the Royalists surrendered the city after three months of siege to the besieging parliamentary forces. At this point, terms of surrender were generous and it was due to Fernando Fairfax and his son Thomas Fairfax, the second and third Lords of Fairfax of Cameron, that the city, and in particular the minister class, was preserved from destruction. There you go. All original, all them years ago. See, look. There you go. That is the wall there, folks. That's Clifford's Tower, isn't it? Yeah. So where are we? Can... Are we there? Oh, there's a few entrances. Look, you've got one there, one there, yeah. one there. And what one are we at? This one here, Mickle Gate Bar. And uh, as I say, you can walk all the way around there. I think it's about 3.4 kilometres. I thought we looked online and it said, didn't it? Yeah, I just said it says on there, but it doesn't, does it? Yeah. Anyway, let's get up there. The wall experience, that's the wall experience. I think you can just get up here for free, so I'm sure it is. Well, let's take them. We'll have a look. It did say free on the online so again look at these steps folks out of curve look all these footsteps have been walking up there I wonder if this is York Stone Sharon hey <clears throat> now what way are you going no it looks like they're paying there we're going the wrong way I don't know well there's no sign of paying we'll have to carry on shall we? see where it takes us yeah just walking along a little bit further here Perhaps if you've got little kids, folks, you might want to be a bit careful, because look, shall come here, look, where your waist height is, look. You can just sort of lean over there, so it can be a bit dodgy for little children. So coming up to our first corner, and... Uh, oh my God, there's no railings up there, look. It what? There's no railings up there. Uh-huh. And just over here... And we're the only ones going I this way. I think that's the railway uh, station there, Sharon. Yeah, that's the railway station there. And somewhere over here, folks, that's where we come in over there, look. The train station there. But somewhere over in this location is the railway museum. But there's no rail, and I'm not so keen on that bit along there. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll make our way down there, see what happens. Get it over and done. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't bring kids up here. 
So just coming along a bit further. Now we're at the uh, station. That's where we actually come out on last week's vlog. Yes. Oh yeah. And we walked that way down there along the pathway. So I we're don't like it here, do you? Well, it's a lot, very open. As I say, if you've got small children, you might be a bit dubious about bringing them up here because there's no railings here at all. So we're not going to walk all the way around. We'll probably come off down here somewhere if we can. That's where the uh, York Minister Cathedral is at yesterday, what we saw yesterday. And uh, Sharon's dragging behind a little bit. You're right I there, baby. I don't like it. It's when people, they don't, we're sort of going right next to the edge, don't we? <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, you're all right. They could easily push you though, couldn't they? Of course they could, Sharon. <laughs> you're taking trust in somebody you've never met and <laughs> right to the they edge. They could just shove you off, Sharon. Yeah. That's where we was the other day, folks. Look, yeah, that's where we actually walked along there on last week's vlog. Right along there and through that way. So we'll probably come off of the wall, probably up there. There's just a where bridge the, there, um, and it will go over the river. And we'll probably head for, where are we going first? The church, Chapel Minster, York Minster. York Minster. We'll try and have a look in there first. Yeah. And then we'll, um, Thank you. Sharon wants to go to the Shambles again and look at, uh, the what's ghost, that shop you want to see? The ghost store. The ghost store. I don't understand it. Yeah, we don't know what it is, but we're going to have a look at that. You're coming along for the ride. Yeah? I'm not coming up here again. Why? Make me all go near that edge. <laughs> That's all right. There's railings now. I'm happy now. You're happy, yeah? Yeah, there's railings here. I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look, down there, look, quite a drop, folks. You've got the main road there as well. Look, so now, because of the road, I suppose they put these railings here. Look, but uh, yeah, if you're a bit funny with heights, you might uh, want to think twice. Well, I'm not funny up. with ice, I just don't want to go over. No, not you, I'm talking uh, about them, Shao. Uh, they might be a bit funny with heights, mightn't they? So let's keep on walking. Shao was on about that the other day. Lovely building like that, and you've got them big modern telephone pylons on top of them. Look. That's the Grand Hotel of York. Yeah, it is a nice walk, though, Shao. I'd like to go all the way around, but yeah, nah. with my ankle, I've done my ankle in No, place, I don't want I? to. And today is also a Monday, so. Probably more traffic on the road and uh, maybe not as many people, touristy people, I don't know. It was the end of the half turn oh, yesterday. Right, yeah. So yeah, just making our way down to one of the many drop-off points off the wall, I suppose you could say. Yeah, I'm not sure about that sign, shall When it said there you have to pay, that you, they might do an excursion around there, I don't know. But we haven't had to pay, folks. We did look online for free stuff to do. And uh, this was listed amongst the free stuff. Yeah, we walked over there yesterday. That was towards where the shambles is showing, isn't it? Yeah. That was our walk yesterday, folks. And we're now coming off the wall in the same place. And we'll come back to you when we get to York Minster. Just on the little bridge at the moment, folks. And we thought we'd just have a look at that little place. Look, little uh, little cafe or bar down there. Look, down by the riverside. You can actually sit right down by the river there, look. Amazing. So many little nooks and crannies, Sharon. There is. You've got the old river tour as well you can do there, look. Old building there, I suppose look. you pick it up over there, Sharon. Uh, What's that? That old building there. There's some old buildings in there, look. Yeah. Yeah, look, you can pick up the little... Um, cruise. Cruise there, up the river. If you're, if you're that way. That would be quite relaxing, I would have thought, Sharon. Yeah. Wouldn't mind doing that. Get a different perspective. I'll tell you what, I don't know people like when they've got their families, how dear it is to take a family out now, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're only paying for me and Sharon, and uh, the things, the attractions and stuff in these touristy areas are very, very dear, folks. Ideal for like a couple or if you're retired or whatever, but to bring a family here, you've got to appreciate the um, the history sort of thing, and I don't think kids really would pick up on that, Sharon. Uh, anyway, very dear. So we've just yeah. come off of that bridge, folks, and uh, we've found. Lendl wow. Tower, which is here, just on the side of that river, where the boat was moored, just down there. And it says, in front of you is Lendl Tower, which dates from the 13th century. Every night, a great iron chain stored in the tower was stretched across the river Ouse to bark a tower on the opposite bank. The chain prevented boatmen from entering the city without paying tolls, and also protected the city in times of trouble ward. There you go. So there must be another tower 
that other side, which is that thing we was looking at, no doubt. Oh, yeah, of course it and is. they put yeah. a big chain across there to stop boats coming in without paying. Amazing, isn't it? Hey, look, what? Dame Judy Dench walks down there. Oh, yeah, look at that. What's that all about down there? Look. Look at that. And that's Lendl Tower. So we just walked a little bit on, folks. We're still not nowhere near the, uh, well, we're the not cathedral. Far. We're not far from it, but it's a we minster, just looked up it? there. And if you can see on that window ledge up there, just try and zoom in for you. There's a little cat just sitting on there like a little stone cat. And I did read on the internet that there's actually a catwalk where you go around a certain designated area and find where the cats are. That's obviously one of them. Now, you said you saw one yesterday, didn't you? There's a long air, I think, on the wall. And the wind just... Was it? coming out of the wall so somewhere. that is another one of the free attractions you can do go on the catwalk but just seen that i didn't notice that before so that's the catwalk what's this place yeah well i wanted to tell you that yesterday but you walked off love what Look, is it everything york museum <laughs> jurassic world it's all things in there oh that's in there is it so yeah. that's again that's another attraction but you can spend a hell of a lot of time in there no doubt right onwards i can see the cathedral in front of us Sharon. it's a minster well that's an impressive building folks isn't it let's have a little look at this So that's such an impressive looking building, folks, isn't it? It's closed for sightseeing. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. God. No. Again, we picked the right time to do it, folks. But what an amazing looking building. And just over there, I don't know what that is. There's some sort of chapel over that side, Sharon. Over here, you have a, a mock-up of, looks like the inner wall here. So you can actually get your bearings. That's the main thing there, obviously, which is the cathedral. And uh, I presume, where are we, Sharon? Where are we standing? Where are we? That way. We're at the end, are we? Yeah. Oh, we're there, are we? <laughs> oh, right, yeah, of course. Oh, Where the star is, no doubt. Look at that. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it does go back quite a way, folks. There Should you go, I baby. see what that is, then? Yeah, we'll have a little walk over there. So I'm sorry about that, folks. We can't actually take you inside. And uh, we've picked the only day at shut. Must be doing some filming or something. So they've all got crew on their T-shirts. Well, so have we, shall. So just coming around, you can see the actual depth of it here, folks. Look, there we go. And there is a picture on the side there. Probably where they're doing some restoration work, maybe, Sharon. Uh, what a shame, isn't it? That's what it does look like inside. If you've uh, never seen it before like us. Very grand building, folks. Very grand building. Look at that. But there is some sort of um, chapel here. St. Michael uh, Belfry, by the looks of it. What's that there? Guy Fawkes got baptised here. Oh, did he? Look at that. Yeah. Place where by Guy Fawkes was baptised. How about that? So this would have been it back 500 year old church in the heart of york nestled close to york minster there we go so that was it there folks back then look at that look at that how that would have been depicted back then all open sort of carriages uh rough ground no pavements or stuff like that and apparently the reason why we can't go in there the main minster show is because they're filming aren't they yeah we're filming but we haven't shut it down shall no, we we've, we've let people come in while we're in there we filming. Have. we're not greedy there you go very interesting Right, again, just coming down the steps here, folks. What's, what's this, Sharon? Also, and the oldest stores. Again, more gravestones, folks, look. Where people were actually buried on the footpaths. 1838. That's amazing. Yeah. It's not nice walking over. Well, I don't know. I don't know no, whether no. they just want to be buried on holy soil, so to speak. I don't know. And whether they're people of uh, wealth or knowledge or power or whatever, and they're given that privilege there, or maybe even royalty, Sharon, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so you wouldn't even know, folks. We've got a few more further up there as well. Yeah, there we go. Look, 1832, look. Age 23 year old. Wow. I bet these could tell a story at night, Sharon, these places. So we've just come through here. We're coming out to the main lobby area there. And they're even dotted around out that, that here as well. And whether or not they're um, actual buried directly underneath there, or whether there's a vault underneath, Sharon. There might be a vault underneath. Mm. 
So it may not be that they're under this actual ground here. It might be uh, vaulted underneath or whatever. Sorry. Is there tunnels under there? Would there be? No. Where these people are buried? Uh, not to my knowledge. No. Would they be buried directly under here? Would they? No, they not. These graveyard was out here. Oh right. And these these are the gravestones were brought in here. There's no bodies under there. Oh we don't right. Because we've got it all scanned. Oh okay, right. Well, that makes sense. Nature. So this has been scanned. These are just the gravestones from outside. Brilliant. Didn't know that. Learn right. something new every day. You do, didn't you? I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. Thank people. you. You're not a Roman Catholic. They don't like walking. No, well, no, I don't actually, but I'm not Roman Catholic. But I, there you go. Am, I am, though, so well done. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, folks. If you don't know something, just ask the question, and the people in the know will probably give you the answer. So those would have been here, out here, Sharon, probably all when they consecrated all this land or dug this land up, for example, brought them back in there, and the, the bodies were reburied. So he says that's shutting in June to be refurbed. What is? So they've actually scanned all the ground in there uh, to find out if the bodies were there and there's no bodies there. Whew, I thought we was walking over gravestone, Sharon. Right, so we're at the back end of the uh, York Minster now, and uh, we're now at Minster Gates. A uh, little thing for you to read there. And it used to be called Bookland Lane due to people making books down here. But uh, we've just seen this old uh, sweet shop here with old original sweets in Sharon, what we used to have when we was kids. 1911. 1911, yeah, so have a look in the window, yeah. And you've got all the old original, used to make that at school, Sharon. Remember that coconut, yeah, coconut ice? ice? That's what I like, nut brittle. Peanut brittle. But not a lot of that one in that basket, you can keep that. Yeah, yeah, we used to make that. And then we all, also used to make this stuff as well, your honeycomb, honeycomb remember? Yeah. Bicarbonate of soda and uh, what was it, syrup, wasn't it, or sugar? I can't, can't remember be, now. I can't remember now, no. All stuff I can't eat anymore. Yeah, so we're just walking down some of these old roads we don't know where we're going at the moment folks we're trying to work our way back to the shambles but we're not working off of a, a map at all we're just literally oh, just enjoying going with the, the flow walk. yeah what have we got here sort of a uh, sci-fi sort of stuff look or movie stuff maybe well, that's, that's, that, that's that one we saw the other day, wasn't it? Was that the Rick the old been, one? Or was that a different one? Nothing down this road, love. No, so there you go. That's the old original building. Look at that, folks. Amazing. Isn't it? Look at that lovely rabbit in the window, though. Oh, is it Christmas? Oh, it's a Christmas shop. Oh, look, get again, over look. here. <laughs> she spotted another Christmas shop, Oh, no, I don't think it's a bit, look. That's not uh, Peter Rabbit, is it? That's what no, Frank likes, isn't it? Is yeah. it Peter Rabbit? Yeah. I don't think because he's not got his blue coat on. Of course he has not <gasps> Look at everything in there, it's yeah. lovely. Look, look. At that. look. Oh. It's comparable with uh, London shops, isn't it, Sha? Now, Oh, look at this, Sha, look. Well, it's the same shop. But German, not... that's how Germans celebrate it, look. Similar sort of thing. There's slight differences to the uh, German way than the British way, though, aren't there? Again, very nice, though. Looks traditional. Very mind you, them things, you know, where you just push up and down and they flop. Yeah. Oh my God. There we go. Amazing. That's old and original. Peter Rabbit show, isn't he? Teddy Bear Shop. There he is. Teddy Bear Shop. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Look. <laughs> Little Teddy Bear Shop. Look at these old doors, folks. Look. Oh, that's what heaven is. And that is packed with old teddy bears and things. Look at that. Look. It's Paddington. How much is Paddington? Eh? Do you like a teddy bear, Ch isn't it? I love a teddy bear. I love Paddington, but I'm going to send that to Tracy. Look at the tiles on that building, Mark. Hey, the tiles on all that that building. Yeah, Look. that's very sort of Spanish, isn't it? Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? We come at the end of this road now, and uh, you can see there's lots of uh, sort of designer shops along here as well. I think we're gonna have to sit down, folks, because my back is really stiff at the moment due to the fall I had, or well, near near fall with my ankle, Sharon. Yeah. So we'll have a go, find somewhere to sit down. We're not hungry because we had that massive breakfast. Well, I did. I had two lots. But again, if you are hungry, there's loads of oh, these places. Oh, look at about. this. Look, the York Roast, for example. Hey, yeah, look at that, look. You can have a roast in a roll there, I would How imagine, is it? it? Sandwiches. Wraps. Yorkie oh, yeah, wrap. they do the old York wrap, don't they? That's a fair, fair enough price, about £7, £7.50. I wouldn't mind paying that sort of price. But, uh Look at that crackling. That's how you do crackling, Sharon, isn't it? Oh, that's look amazing. at that beef. Oh, I know. Yeah. 
normally if I was hungry, Shell, I'd be straight in there. Right, we're going to find somewhere to sit down there, folks, as my back's playing up. We'll see you oh, in a minute. Oh, seats in front of Yeah, of course there is. Right, we just found this place, folks, off of uh, Feesgate there, Old Penny Lane. It looks like it's old Victorian. Penny Games. Penny Games. Or should I say arcade games of yesteryear? Let's have a little look in here. Are you the BBC? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's three pounds and you get 15 big old pennies to write on me. On me. Is it? Uh, tell them, tell them. All the machines that run on all big pennies. All big pennies. They're 15. You get, how much is it? Three pounds? It smells old in here. I'll tell you, give them that, folks. There we go. Look. look at these. I remember these sort of things when I was a kid. Back in the. Uh, it's all yeah. late 60s rather when I was a little kid. Look at that. So Sharon's going to get some old pennies. You can only play these with the old pennies. Thank you. Oh look, what the butler saw, Sharon. <laughs> Them ones, look, over in the corner. That used to be what people used to watch naughty videos on, Sharon. On the piers. Well, not always naughty, look. No, but I mean they used to have the old what the butler saw, wasn't it? Little driving game there, look. Insert coin and turn will say to deliver the ball. Go on, off you go. I don't understand it though. Well, you soon will, baby. There we go. I Where's think the, the coin ball? pops up, doesn't it? The ball pops up. Get it through there. Oh. You should go the other way then, shall you? Practicing your skills, baby. It's all about balance. There you go. Now the other way. Yeah, oh. I lost. Lost. Look, you went to the lost. Look. Oh, no, I see you. Never mind. There you go. Never mind, baby. That's it. Put your penny in and flick the lever. Spin it around and see if you win a prize. I think I lost. Oh, hello. The gypsy. The gypsy, look at that, look. People used to believe this told their fortune, Cheryl. You haven't put your mum for birth on? I did. You're not born in I'm November. I'm not a gent, am I? I'm a lady, look. Oh, I see. She's right in your future out now, Cheryl. Oh, hello. What's it say? Your dearest friends are overjoyed that you've had your drinking problem under control. Your weight change is well hidden by the ill-fitting clothes you require. Financially saving hard now for that facelift is latest sound investment. But don't look so grim. Cheer up. Things get worse. Right, we're doing you. December, baby. I've got to put it in, surely. It doesn't make no difference. Well, I don't know, sure. There we go. She just insults you. Just <laughs> Let's see what she comes out with. Oh, there we go. Let's have a go. Oh. Admirers have a high regard for your warm and loving personality. That could be true, shall not it? <laughs> your character is one which inspires trust. Great strength of purpose is apparent to all. Your artistic appreciation shows clarity of vision. With such confidence, you cannot help but succeed. Remember being, becoming... What's that? Remember... Becoming cold doesn't really matter. Is that right? Remember, becoming bald doesn't really matter. Yes, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that should be for well, Van Camp. She says I'm a drinker. I've been insulted. Unbelievable. What's this? Who knows? Operating. Generating station. Put a penny in the slot and it shows you how to generate electricity, Sharon. Turning them wheels, baby, you just create some electricity. Clever, are not You're carbon neutral now, look at that, look. But what about the plug there that eh? goes for me? Yeah, but that's, that, you're not supposed to see that, yeah? <laughs> yeah, do you remember him, the old laughing jolly, yeah, jolly Jack? Yeah, he's 20p. Is he? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll let him go then. Oh, I remember them. Bag of tail, they used to call that, yeah? You get a ball in the coloured pocket and it wins. Go on, it. off you go. Go on, where's the coloured pockets? There's nothing to do. No, 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 no. There's nothing to do. No, the ball you've lost. Once you've pinged it, you've got to let it go all the way round. Oh, sure and you're hoping the ball's going to bounce in one of the coloured pockets. Sure, look, look. The instructions are there, what it does, look. Yeah, don't just put your money in willy-nilly, baby. 
Yeah, otherwise, what's the point? I like it. You're just you're being taken advantage of. Right. So you open it's going to bounce in one of those coloured streams there. Look, win, win, win. Look. That's got to be a fix, isn't it? Hey. There you go. There we go. Come on, Cheryl. Lucky twelve. Lucky twelve. Wait till the ball comes down, baby. What's there? Hello. Right, what's happening there? Oh, I think you've got to get one in uh, number two, isn't it? If you go there, the ball goes down as a loss, doesn't it? Never mind. Kids used to have so much fun back then, didn't they? Say number... Three, we've got three. Go on, we've got three. Now spin the handle. Number three, you've won. You've won another extra penny, baby. My three children. Look at that. What's this? Amazing. The last, miser's last, last moments. Can you be able to come in there and get them in bed? Go on in, put them. In there, okay? Yeah, we're fine, mate. Thank you. Oh, hello. Look. Oh. The back's opening up with the oh, bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming out. He's going to shoot through it, isn't he? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. It's sitting up. That we get. Oh, look out. Oh, look, look, look. The door. I think the Grim Reaper would come through, Sharon. Yeah? I think so, don't you? Right. Whack your penny in, baby. You've got to push that lever down. Oh, what, where? There, I would have thought, look. Oh. That was it. There, I'll try this one, Sharon. Go on, yeah. Wind the handle. Keep going. I don't know what you're doing, but carry on. <clears throat> Perhaps we've got to get them in them little slots there. That's it, you'll run out of money. Ping it. Oh, nearly. No, lost it. One more. Try not ping it so hard, yeah? A little bit gentler on the ping. That's better. Yeah, it done well, didn't it? Eh? That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there you go. Ready? So we've both got to turn the handle. Okay. You've got to push that lever down there. Oh, is that me? I'm red. Oh, I'm going to win. Look, sure. I'm not doing that. I'll let you win. Go on. I'll let you win. Oh, yeah, you won. Oh, it's a little, like a football thing, isn't it? Go in and put a penny in. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's like a table football, isn't it? Booty, isn't it? Yeah, let's kick, kick it. Kick. Come on. It's stuck. Oh, the ball's caught over the back, look. Now, you can't knock these because I think they've got a motion sensor on them. We just lost the ball, haven't we, Sheriff? We can't, we can't even tell the ref. Go for a drink, hadn't I? There is no ref. Silver Street. Right, okay. We've been doing a little bit of sitting down, folks. We've had a little bit of look around and uh, we're looking for something to eat. Sharon's looking for a local chip shop, isn't it? It's supposed to be pretty Drake, good. Uh, no, I haven't way. seen one of them shops for ages. You can see that behind me, folks. That was Richard Sounds. I used to live in, uh, when we was in London, there used to be a Richard Sounds in Kingston, Kingston upon Thames, just across the road from where my college used to be. I think it was on the. Um, Richmond Road or something, Sharon? I can't remember what it was called. What's the road that went to Richmond? I can't remember. No. But it was over my college, wasn't it? It was by my college in Kingston. Didn't think they were still going. That was many years ago, about 25 years ago. There you go. So we're looking at a fish and chip shop there, but that's a takeaway. We wanted somewhere where you could sit in. So we're just having a little look. Sharon seems to think that it's down here somewhere. We've got the um, sat nav on street walking and it brought us here. But Sharon, don't think that's the one. But it's saying down here now. Eh? It's saying down here. It's saying down here? Yeah. Camera shop. Makes you wonder how these sort of shops stay open now. What with yeah. uh, Amazon, isn't it? I like video as well. Oh, so. well, with these? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Buying stuff off the, uh, off well, the no. internet. Everyone uses these of course they photos. Do. Oh, well, let's see if the sat nav's right, shall we? We're here. It's right opposite our most place. That's the uh, roast place, yeah. So, uh, 
Is it a take in or eat in or? Eat in, I take think. Take away. Is this a, 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 supposed to be a good one, Sharon? Yeah. So we've just come down Swinegate. You've got loads of uh, nationality restaurants down there. And uh, we've just seen this little the coffee yard. So you've got Los Moros, whatever that one is, Sharon. Yeah. Oh, it's an African kitchen. What is it? Over there, look, it says. And I don't know what's through there. Should we have a look? Yes, go through. You've got the slug and lettuce there. Again, so many different eateries. You'll never be stuck for somewhere to eat. This uh, leads to Stonegate down here. Look at this, look. So a little look. What's this, Sharon? Restaurant, Japanese. So you've got a, a, a Japanese restaurant there. Tapas bar there. Where? Oh, yeah, look at that, look. Look, yes, this is the entrance, look. <laughs> Little, little, what are they call show ginnels? Is it like a ginnel? Or is it just an alleyway when it's, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Here, them doors there, look, open up there, look. They have beams, look. Yeah. This is Barley Hall down here. Now open. Oh, yeah, we come the other way here, didn't we? I remember these. Oh, I don't know. I think this is. No, 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 we didn't. Oh, look. Yeah, I thought it was in there, Sharon. Oh, it's all old-fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. Doorway there, or a window, window Yeah, look. that would have been a window up there, look. Locks in. I don't know where this is bringing us out to. The Evil Eye Cocktail Bar, look. Look at that, the old inn there. Yeah. The oldest licence in, established in 1644. Look at that. Did they have rules back then, Sharon? God knows. Who knows? A lot of people like just walking along shopping, don't they? I do. Just rambling along and bimbling, Sharon. Looking in the windows. We've been down there because I recognise that Yeah, dress. we have been down there many times. Yeah. So we're going to try and make our way back to the uh, train station now. And... Um, Probably look for the railway museum if Recognize you've got time. the bunny rabbit. Hey? <laughs> the bunny rabbit, isn't it? Yeah, you've been there. I'm not letting you go there again, sure. I didn't go in, though, did I? You wouldn't never nah. go in. There it is. Look, that Christmas shot. window, wouldn't it? Well, we nearly got there, didn't we, to the we railway museum? Got there, that near. And uh, just talking to the road blokes, and he said, Oh, you go to the railway museum? We said, Yeah. He said, It's shut. <laughs> it was open on the school holidays, which has just finished the day before, wasn't it? Yesterday. Yesterday. Wasn't it? So. We can't go and visit that either, folks. So that's York Minster, no, and yeah. the museum, no. Yeah, but we've done quite a lot in this last uh, couple of days we've been here. Done a lot of walking. Hope you've uh, seen quite a bit of York. There's loads we haven't shown you, obviously, but um, we're going to leave it here now. I hope you've enjoyed this video, Shell. We've definitely enjoyed it. Enjoyed it, rather. I've done my me, me ankle in, my back's done in through clomping, trying to save myself. So I'm walking around in agony. I've been walking around for about three and a half, four hours today. So we're going to go and sit in the first class lounge now, wait for our train to come. And then we'll see you in the next video, baby. Yes, we will. So thanks very much. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you do like our content, check out our other videos. We've got vlogs. We've also got our cooking videos, which we do throughout the week. And uh, have a little binge watch. You'll have them. Anyway, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye, bye for now. Come on, baby. First class. Lounge. We're off. My ankle's killing me. <laughs>